what is that? Um, it's Friday, so you know what that means. Well, technically it's Saturday, it's after midnight, but basically we're going to have the last Starman video of this week. So, this one is going to be called Foreign Exchange Student is Picked On. What happens is shocking by Darman. Uh, I would not be surprised if this is also based on a true story, just like yesterday it was. If it is, well, either way, I'm pretty sure it is. It's just maybe not based on someone's actual story, but it's definitely real because this definitely does happen. So no doubt this has happened before. This may not be the exact same situation. But we'll see if it's based on a true story or not. Um, hey, you uh, want to come over and play Fortnite after oh school? Oh my goodness, what's going I wish. on? My mom's making me meet some foreign exchange student who's going to be staying with us. Sorry, I'm, I'm not watching it. It's so late right now. I'm not... And he's staying in my brother's room. You know, Jacob hasn't even been gone in a month, thing. and my mom is already giving his room to someone else. What is that smell? Be right back. Where is Okay, after some lagging difficulties, I'm back. So foreign exchange student is picked on. Again, I don't know why people pick on anybody. Like whether they are, I don't know, whether you think they're ugly, whether you think they're too skinny, whether you think they're fat, whether you think they're whatever they are, or nationality-wise, like who cares? Who cares? Like I just don't understand, like who cares this much? That I want to just pick on them, like oh I have to pick on this person because you're stupid, like you know what I mean? Uh, they're not even stupid, they're, they're just foreign, they may not know English that well, you know what I mean? Like like what if you go to go to go to their country, you'll be a foreigner to them, and then you're going to be like... Not, not knowing what they're saying, and then, and, and then they're going to say the same thing. Haha, you're a stupid foreigner, you don't know what you're doing. Like you, when a foreigner comes to your country, then you're like, hi, you're a foreigner. Okay, well, when you go to, to a different country, you're the foreigner. So, you're a foreigner too. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, don't be a little shit. Like, you know? Like, like I'd love to, to see you guys go to Poland, for example, and try to say a bunch of words there. Or understand what the fuck they're saying. You're not going to know what the fuck they're saying. I'd love to go to China and be like, what, what the fuck are you guys saying? You know, I would be completely clueless. So, you can't pick on anybody just because they don't know English that well. Or, because again, you don't know a lot of languages either. You probably don't know all the languages, so you're a foreigner to some country. Just saying. It's 15 minutes, and if you pick on someone, I really hope you go to a different country and get picked on right back, because you deserve it. Hey, you, uh, we, we already kind of heard the first little bit, but I couldn't see the uh, I, 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 I couldn't see the visual. Make me meet some foreign exchange student who's gonna be staying with us. That's slang. Yeah, tell me about it. Staying with us. He's staying in my brother's room. You know, Jacob hasn't it's even been weird. a month, and my mom is already giving his room to someone else. What? It's definitely kind of weird. What is that smell? I'm so sorry that I'm pausing so early, but why are you gonna give what? Wait, so so the brother's going away, then you're just gonna give a random room to a random kid? Like foreign exchange, like foreign or not, foreign exchange student or not, it's like, what are you doing? Why are you giving your brother's room? Like, what do you mean gone? Like, is he gone on vacation? Is, did he die? Like, what, what's going on? Like, why are you going to fill in this spot right away? Like, who is this random exchange student that, that you're going to let in? I understand why he's kind of like annoyed because it's like, who the fuck are, are you letting into our house? Like, who is this person? But at the same time, don't judge because they're foreign exchange. Like, I would just judge because it's like, who, who, who the fuck even are you? You know what I mean? Like, what? Uh, where, where is that coming from? The, I, I think it's that kid's lunch. I've never seen him before. Dude, Dude he's the foreign exchange student. Why does Chinese food smell like that? Uh, um, actually, it, it Vietnamese food and you probably smell it. Fish sauce. Fish sauce? I've never even heard of that. i never heard of that either. Where I am from, where you listen to what? Carry it That's disgusting. Maybe you should go back to where you're from because in America, we eat normal food. Like this. It's called a sandwich. Ever heard of it? Yeah. Well, then maybe you should go grab one and throw that crap out. Because I don't want your fish sauce stinking up this cafeteria. You got it, fish boy? What? <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Yeah, actually, this, this really good if you guys want to try this eat yourself. I'd rather die, honestly. Come on. Let's go sit somewhere far away from him. Oh, my God. I, I paused twice in over a minute. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, what the f What? Fish boy, like look at your ugly ass face and your stupid ass hair. Like what? Like that has nothing to do with any anything. I'm just trying to find a reason to pick on him. But this guy's a douchebag. This guy's a complete douchebag. Like why don't you go back to where you're from? Because I want your fish stuff smog sm up like have it here. Got it, fish boy. What? It's the stupidest thing I, I've ever heard in my life. Boy, have mercy. Lord have mercy. Boy, have mercy. Whatever the fuck. This guy's stupid. Just because you're in America doesn't mean you have to eat American food. I'm 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 in Canada, so what? Like pierogies are not to be eaten. You can't eat Chinese food. 
prohibited, completely prohibited. You're not uh, like you're not in China. No Chinese food. Nowhere. No illegal. Uh, that should be illegal. According, according to this guy, that should be illegal. Like you, like you, 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 you can eat whatever the fuck you want. You can eat whatever the fuck you want. Got it? Stupid ass little stupid fucking. I don't even know what to say about this kid. This guy's already p pissing me off. And then 14 seconds in. Fuck. This is gonna be so annoying to edit. Ugh. Fucking asshole. I hate him. I feel like I'm eating in a freaking aquarium. Like if it smells bad, just like sit away from him or something. I don't know. Like you haven't even tasted the food. You haven't even tasted the fucking food. Would. Taste it first, you fucking idiot. It probably tastes better than the sandwich. Uh, dude, what's your mom doing talking to that weird new kid? Jeez, I don't know, dude. She's probably giving him directions or something. I'm gonna go tell him to get lost later. All right. Pardon. He's the person that's gonna hey, stay, stay with you. Today. Get your directions somewhere else. We're busy. Kyle, Fian's not asking for directions. Fian, that, that's He's his name. He's the foreign exchange student I was telling you about. He came all the way from Vietnam. Wait, hold on. You're joking, right? This guy's staying in Jacob's room? No, no. He smells. Hey, that is not how we speak to our guests. You know what? This completely sucks. I hate this. Well, I don't understand why she's bringing in a random person anyways. That's so random. I am so sorry. Like, I'm so confused. Why? He's not normally like this. Is that how people like in America? Oh, no. Gosh, no. That That is not normal behavior. He's just... He's going through a tough time because his brother left for the military and they were best friends. Oh. I promise he'll warm up to you. Okay. So what? She just in, in invited some random kid over to exchange him, like, or not to exchange him, but to like take place of him. I don't get it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, did he agree to it? The uh, the son obviously didn't agree to it. So it's like, it's like it, it's like a random kids in your co in, in in your house. You know, it's weird. What the? What is that? Oh. Theon taught me how to make one of his favorite dishes. Oh, oh it's gonna be that fish one, isn't it? I want him to feel more at home. Taste test? What? No, that's disgusting. Are you trying to poison me? <sighs> Kyle, uh, stop being so dramatic. It's a different type of food. Like, relax. Mmm, oh, this is delicious. You like it? Uh huh. I'm glad you like it. Oh God, there's so many more dishes I want to show you. No, no, I don't think so. You're not going to be staying here for much longer. He is going to be staying here the entire year. Oh, damn. So get used to it and be nice. Damn. Playing a game? Yeah. Never seen that before. What's it called? Um, it's a new game. It's called, um, World Farm, Work Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure? We need to plant words? No, it's like a fun personal word game. Plus, we're gonna get to build farm, race animal, and a lot more stuff. I can't believe you'd actually spend money on that. No, I'm not spending money it's on free. this. It's free. Um, yeah, I learned a lot of English from this. So basically, you're studying before school? Why does that matter? Why are you so wow, angry about I that? I didn't think you'd be more lame. Shut up. Oh, geek. Hey! No name calling. Besides, you could learn a thing or two from Theon. I bet he gets good grades. No, oh, well, I'm sure he does. Because he spends all his free time studying and reading books and playing word games. And why does that bother you? Yeah, no you? thanks. I'd much rather enjoy myself. <laughs> well, at the rate you're going, you'll be enjoying summer school, <laughs> too. <laughs> no, Jacob's going to be here, so I'll be hanging out with him. Well, if you don't get your grades up, you won't have a choice. Damn. Oh, nothing hey, to say, bitch boy. Where are you going? You haven't had breakfast yet. I'm walking to school, and I'm not eating that crap. Okay, bitch boy, bye. No, I am driving the both of you. I would not, I would not drive him not at this point. I would not drive him. I'd be like, you can walk now. I will not be seen getting out of the same car as some foreign exchange student, and I definitely won't be smelling like fish sauce at school. Goodbye. Oh, my God. You're so dramatic. Hi, I am so sorry. We're so dramatic. I have no idea what's gotten into him. It's okay. It's not your fault. Is that ready for me to get a taste? Oh, 
yes, come on, of course. Like, try it first. I get it. Like, honestly, I'm not I'm not fond of some foods I see either. I'm like, ew. But it can taste good. Try it first. Smell it first. You know, it can smell gross. But... Kyle. Not ah, he failed. That's C minus. Idiot. Loser. Stupid. Bitch. Sorry, I, I'm angry at him. So. the highest score in the class. Great mm -hmm. job. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Shut, shut the fuck up. All right, class. Bitch on boy. To the next lesson. Who can give me the three basic trigonometric functions? Well, that ahead, all with a bitch in the back definitely uh, can't. The psi, cosine, and tangent. I knew that. That is absolutely correct. Nice I totally job. knew that. I knew that. <laughs> shut the fuck up. What was that, Kyle? Nothing. No, say it. No, say it, bitch boy. Say it. See you guys tomorrow. Do not forget to read chapter 11. Trees is not my bag. It's tough. Hey, watch this. Oh my god. What is up with you? Ooh, teacher's pet got a perfect score. Give it back. No, I was like, right fuck about off. you. What is your issue? Why does that concern you? Shut the fuck up and give me back my shit, fucking bitch. Serious? What are you gonna do if I do this? Curry. Curry my ass. You can't even freaking get in a garbage can. What's your problem, man? Listen to the way this guy speaks English. Can you push him down the stairs, please? What the fuck's your problem? You need to stop this. Thank you. Oh yeah? Well, what are you gonna do about it, huh? You know my brother? He taught me a few things before he was deployed. In my classroom. Now. Damn, you got busted. I don't want to hear I was just, fuck classroom off. Classroom. Now. Damn. I am so sorry about that. Are you okay? I'm fine. Just wait until Kyle's mom finds out. Oh, him. shit. Oh, he's staying back after school. Oh, no. Oh. Disappointed doesn't even begin to describe how I feel, Kyle. Kill him. I, I, I just do something. Sorry. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You have been treating poor Theon so awful since he got here, and now I hear you're bullying him at school, too? Yeah, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's completely unacceptable. I figured I'd let you know before I told the principal. Damn. I've never seen Kyle act this way before. I was quite shocked. Like, I get it that, that, your, brother's, yeah. that your brother left and shit. Like, why are you being so rude to him? For what? He's just... He's been acting so differently since Jacob moved out of the house. I said I was sorry. Sorry doesn't cut it. Sorry my fucking ass. You haven't even given him a chance since he moved in. I'm sorry. Well, I just don't understand why a foreign exchange student has to live with us in the first place. And it's not my fault. He's a weirdo. Okay. Honestly, I... I will agree in, in the sense of I don't get why some random kid basically moved in. I'm not going to lie. That's the part where I don't understand either. Like, well, it, it, it just because someone moves out of the house. Like, my mom, my sister moved out of the house, and then I got her room, right? Because, like, previously, I didn't have a room. I, I slept on the couch down downstairs. I did not have a room for, like, like 15 years. Like, no cap. I did not have a room for, like, for a while. Because there is th three bedrooms, one for my two sisters, one my mom and dad's and other brothers, and then I had no room. So I just, like, slept on the couch, whatever. I, I was fine with it. I didn't give a fuck. Anyways, when my sister moved out, you didn't see my mom inviting some random kid over or some other random 20-year-old over. No. For what? Like, you know, I don't understand why he moved in, in with her. I ass moved in with them. I don't understand why. I'm assuming we'll find out, but I don't know why he randomly moved in with them. Like, I have no idea what's going on here. Like, how, like, how, how does she even know him? And he's a foreign exchange student, which means that, what, he, he just came from a different country, right? That's all I can really think of. Foreign exchange, but like what, like what, like what's the difference between foreign student or foreign exchange student? You know what I mean? Like I don't understand in the difference. Maybe I'm just stupid. Again, I'm slow. I, I mentioned this in other, other videos. I I am kind of slow when it comes to certain things, so don't mind me. I'm kind of stupid, but you know it's fine. Again, just saying, uh, not saying you're stupid if you're slow, but I just think I'm stupid, so I'm gonna say I'm stupid. I'm a, I'm allowed to call myself stupid. That's allowed, <clears throat> but. I'm just gonna look up foreign exchange student meaning and just see what comes up. It's usually a high school or college student who travels to a foreign country to live and study abroad. Oh, so basically it's just like someone who just comes to a country to study there and then, and then they move back or do they stay there? 
Exchange students will attend classes at a local high school or university, usually as part of their current school. Okay, so it's basically just you moving to a, to a different country to study, but then do they stay there or do they move back after? I don't know. I assume they stay, because like, what are you going to do with a ca Canadian degree and then going back to wherever you came from? It's like, what? How's that going to... Anyways, yeah, honestly, don't say he's a weirdo just because he eats different food. Like, he's from a different... Like, maybe he thinks your food is weird. Like, like maybe he thinks Americans eat weird ass shit, because it's different. Again, again, I understand. You're from a different country. You may not understand this. You may not understand that. You may... I get it. Like, different countries have different stuff. Like, you eat different things. You have different rules. You have different everything. You, you, you may dress differently. Like, you may have everything differently. I get it. But it doesn't mean you judge and, like, you... Like, again, for arranged marriage, I, I, I don't want to judge, but to me, that's just so stupid. Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me at all, and it just completely like, disregards the rights of the kids. That's why it angers me, and that's why I judge it so badly. For this, it's just food. Like, who cares? Like, you don't like it? Don't eat it. Cool. And and before you judge it, you should probably try it. I should probably take my own advice. Anyways, because I actually don't want to try sushi, because I'm pretty sure it's disgusting, but I don't even know if i try it, but it just looks gross as fuck. But for all I know, maybe I would love it, but I, I refuse to try it, because I, th I think it tastes gross. And maybe it doesn't, I don't fucking know, but... So I should probably take my own advice. Anyways, yeah, don't say that he's a, he's a, he's a weirdo, he's this and that. Like, okay, and you're a fucking dumb bitch boy bully. And and again, I'm saying bitch boy because I don't know what else to call him, so I'm just going to say bitch boy. I hope it doesn't offend anybody, but yeah, I'm just going to call him a bitch boy. Anyways, yeah, this mom's about to bitch him out, so I'll see you guys. That is enough. Do you hear me? Just because someone is from another country does not make him weird. Facts. You should never judge someone before you get to know them. I don't want to get to know him. Fine. Then you are grounded for three months. Um, if I make How it three years. I'll make it three years. Whatever. Okay, six months. Okay. I will also be taking your tablet and your video game, so no more Fortnite. Wait, no, no, you can't do that. <laughs> yes, I can. Yes, I can. You can't do it's that. Either that, or you be nice to Theon. It's I'm not that. Sure it's not that hard. He could teach you. It's not even that difficult to be nice so to him. So what's it going to be? Like you should be grounded Fine. regardless. You should be grounded regardless. That that's not a good start. Like fine. I will make sure this never happens again. And if you need to discipline him more, Do I it. completely understand. It's okay. I think Kyle's going to learn his lesson. And it's my hope that as they get to know one another, perhaps Theon can help Kyle with his grades too. Theon got the highest score on our exam, you know. Really? I can't say I'm surprised. Come on, boys. Let's go home. Kyle reluctantly agrees to give Theon a chance. Like why, like, why is he being such, such a bitch about that? I don't understand. The next day, when Kyle sees Theon eating some traditional Vietnamese food, he's grossed out at first. But remembering his promise to his mom, He decides to give it a chance. To his surprise, he ends up loving it. Dumbass, there you go. And even if you don't Back like it, who cares? School, Just don't eat it. When Kyle looks for a table to sit at, this time he decides to join Theon. Not only does Kyle share his lunch with him, but he also pulls out his book and starts studying. Once Kyle starts giving Theon a chance, Theon or Theon? It's Theon. He realizes Theon's actually pretty cool. Theon or Theon? Why is he saying Theon? Kyle starts to like having Theon around and they have a lot of fun together. There you go, idiot. All he has to do is give him a chance. 
But now I know you're turning into a dumb few bitch. Days later, Kyle gets a big surprise. Oh, is his brother coming back? Is Jacob hey, you back? Wanna come over to my house later? I got the new Halo. Yeah, I'm down. Actually, is it cool if I bring Thean? You gotta be kidding me. Fish boy? Come on, man. He's actually pretty cool. What are you, are you, did you bump your head? He's a total dork. Oh my it's god. not true at all. And for the record, you should never judge someone before you get to know them. Yeah, I, I guess so. I guess it's cool. Just text me when you want to come over. All right, man. See ya. Like, you don't even have the right to say what you just said, because, like, you're being a hey. whole bitch the whole thing before, so... What's the big smile for? Like, hey, bitch. Well, your teacher Jacob came back. by, and she gave me your test results. She gave the... I can't believe you got an A! Thanks, but technically it's an A-. minus. It's still I good. I promise I'll do better on the next one, though. Well, I have to say, I am loving this new Kyle. And... I have a surprise for you. Is Jacob back? What? <gasps> Jacob's back. Turn around. <laughs> Jacob? What's up? Man, you're getting bigger, brisket. This is crazy. How long are you in town? Just a couple of days. I wanted to surprise you. That's awesome. Oh, have you met Thean? Yeah, we met earlier. He's... He's my friend. Sorry for taking your room. Don't sweat it. I'll just take Kyle's. Yeah, right. <laughs> you wrestle for it. Okay. <laughs> some things never change. Hey, do you guys want to go get something to eat? Yeah, we should get Vietnamese food. You ever had it? No, it's good. Dude, it's so good. They have this stuff called fish sauce. It is to die for. Sounds good. Let's go. Let's get it, bro. Hey, Darman fam. I hope you love that message. I wanted to take a second to thank the sponsor. He's sponsoring this, this really? Word Farm Adventure. Word Farm Adventure is a fun game for all ages that combines word puzzles with exciting adventures. It's free to download on the App Store and on Google Play. The game is for all ages so the whole family can play together. And if you use my link down in the description to join, you'll also get an added bonus. I hope you love this game as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching. And please remember, we're not just telling stories, we're changing lives. I'll see you in the next video. What's that big smile for? Oh, Dougie, this is grown. Hmm. Okay. Honestly, I feel like I might download, download that game, no cap. <laughs> but honestly, okay, so another good video by Jarman. Again, you should never judge anybody before getting to know them. There's no point in that. I'm so confused as to why the mom just invited some random kid over. Again, for an exchange to you or not. You just invite a random kid over. I have no idea why I did that, but good on you I guess like he's gonna be standing with us for the year like how do you even know him like why just found a random kid hey you you, you wanna live with us okay get over here what like okay you do you but like what, what the fuck like I, I don't understand again like good on the mom I'm, I'm not saying that's a bad thing like was he homeless or something like I don't understand like why I have no idea I, I honestly don't know and that kid is a new actor Kyle's a new actor because I haven't seen him before and obviously the end you haven't seen before either but Catherine Rond gotta love her she she was not a Karen, so that's good because you know uh, sometimes she plays a Karen, so sometimes she's really good, sometimes she's really not good. But in this video, she was good. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like. Be sure to comment down below what you guys thought of this video, and be sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications for both me and Dormant's channels. And yeah, like, there's just no point bullying like that. like the way that he was being like, oh that oh that food looks gross. Okay, try it first. If you don't like it, don't eat it. That's all you gotta do. Eat. Either way, don't judge it. We all have different, we all have taste buds. One thing tastes better than the other. Like, I can like chocolate milk, maybe someone else fucking hates chocolate milk. Who, who cares? Who the fuck cares? If you don't like it, then don't fucking eat it. That's all you gotta do, idiot. And, and it's gross to me, then don't fucking eat it, then you fucking bitch. Like, look out of here. Oh, oh, because, um, what the fuck was I gonna say here? <laughs> oh, like, you're not in Vietnam, so you can't eat Vietnamese food. Like, or maybe you should go back to uh, uh, Vietnam because I don't want your nasty fish sauce smelling up the cafeteria. Bitch, you don't even know how fish sauce tastes like. It it, it does sound kind of gross, not like fish sauce. Mm. Whatever. Again, it sounds kind kind of sounds gross. Like I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of judging it by its name, but again, I haven't actually tried it yet, so I can't say it's gross. The name sounds gross. That's all I'm saying. The name sounds gross, but I can't say it's it's not actually gross without trying it. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's the end of the video. Um, again, please let me know your thoughts down below because I'm actually really curious what you guys are gonna say. And with that being 
So that's the end of the video. See you guys later. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Peace.